sent on their way from the 1200 meter marker. Burning wings, here comes the rain is right there, Quattro Posse and Fly the Coos trying to overcome the draw, the red sleeves and cap, then Prince Crash, Dogliati's a little bit keen with the white silks, on the outside Tambora, Northern Warrior and Great Guys, the trailer about seven or eight lengths off the leader as they move towards that 600 metre region. Quattro Posse is the leader by one length, Burning Wings out the rail, Fly the Coup on the outside, here comes the rain, Red Sleeves near the rail, Tambora and Dogliati, then Prince Crash, Northern Warrior and Great Guys, the trailer. As they turn for home and it's Quattro Posse, the leader, Burning Wings moves in, Fly the Coup is hooked right out to put in a claim, then Dogliati, here comes the rain, further back is Prince Crash. Coming down 300 to go, Burning Wings, Fly the Coup on the outside and behind that we have Dogliotti and on the inside here comes the rain, Burning Wings Dogliotti's running on, Fly the Coup on the outside, Burning Wings is hanging tough though from Dogliotti and Fly the Coup and Burning Wings won it, Dogliotti second Fly the Coup third and Northern Warrior ran fourth Number two Burning Wings, Glenn Cotts and Lyle Lewitson back to back victories and was always prominent, and it pays up 310. That actually ends up the toad favorite, Burning Wings, the Alado. This one also bred by a larger project, Glenn Cotson, Lyle Lewitson, and they win by about a half length or so. Second, number three, Dogliati. Third, to fly the coup, that's number nine, Dogliati. Number three ends up 170, the place, and fly the coup was the place favorite. Behind that was Northern Warrior, here comes the rain, and Quattro Passi. As we look at this, Burning Wings continues to find on the lead the three-year-old and fly the coup, the red sleeves and cap on the right. And Dogliati was a little bit strong early on as three off the left in the white silks and stays on nicely and only gets beaten that half length or so at the business end. That's the sixth race. We've still got seven and eight to come back to the studio. takes home a thousand rand on behalf of Hollywood Bets and Gold Circle. Well done, Combasile. Your horse looked outstanding. You seem to have a very nice horse on your hands here. Enjoy the money. Well done. Thank, Thank you, you very, very much. much. There we, we go. go. Let's get this sorted out. Well done, Lyle. You mentioned in the earlier interview that you thought this horse would have a bright chance. And he, and he seems to have a bright career ahead of him. Yes, um, he, he's a lovely horse. Smashing individual in the ring, firstly. Um, he's nice and strong. Uh, I think it was, he was making us all scratch our heads, the fact that uh, he never achieved early on, like probably what you would have expected. But I think we found the right trip now. He's obviously filled out that frame, and uh, he's pulled up two good wins. A ride that no doubt you and Dee's the one to keep because uh, he's progressing, he's running well, he's, he's running for you, and uh, certainly a, a horse that we're going to keep uh, watch over uh, and uh, with great interest. Yes, um, Warren, he's, like you say, he's on the up, and I think, uh, he, like I said, he's getting stronger. We found the right trip, and things are going for him, you know, and he's been showing really good work at home. John assures me that, uh, you know, last time he told me things also would win. He's re working really well, and apparently he came out of that, that run and uh, just stepped it up a level. So we've seen it today. He's done a good job, and uh, it's really promising when you can go down the straight on the turf and around the, the bend on the poly and, and get the same results. So fantastic job to him and the team, and uh, just lucky I got him at the right time for these two wins. There's one, one more to come, come, isn't it? Your dad's horse? Yeah. yeah, give me a rainbow, you know, like I said, in good form, a horse that's doing well. I think that uh, at first glance, I thought it was a little bit weaker than it is, but the field looks very competitive, um, and against me is the draw. But uh, I think the fact that he's, he's doing well at the moment, I think that he, he'll still give a good showing. Well, two on the board, well done. Another good day at the office. Yeah, thanks so much. Just well until the winning connections. Thanks to Mr. Cotson, um, to John, who's doing a superb job down here, and to my sponsors, Kuda, lovely double. Thank you. Lovely. Spot on, Lyle. Fantastic. Gavin Almanza said had two winners and some winner. Well done, John, and uh, one runner for you today, uh, hence Civvy's day. <laughs> but a good win. You've got to be pleased with this performance today. Yeah, definitely, you know, I think he won a very good race last time to compare to field. Um, and his work this last week has been good, you know. He's, I think he's improved. He's getting stronger, the source. Um, I think at the 1,200, we'll keep him there at the moment. I don't think he quite gets a 14 at the moment. But well done to Glenn, to Cathy on the farm, to all my staff here, and to all the owners. Congratulations.
You know, I don't know too much about breeding, and, uh, and, and, but you look at this horse's by a larder, and our David Allen, a larder project, he's put a lot of time and a lot of effort and a lot of faith into, into a larder, and uh, I had the privilege of owning one myself, and they seem to be able to run. You know, you don't see too many of them, but they're good horses. Yeah, 100%. You know, um, like I said, what's, this horse didn't show much as a two-year-old as a colt. Once we gelded him, he definitely seemed to change and strengthen up and become a better horse. Like all I can say, well done again to the owners again. Lovely. Spot on. 100% strike rate for the team. Congratulations. Lovely. Lovely. John. John Buckler, he's part of the team and he keeps the ship afloat here. And certainly a horse that we're going to keep an eye on here. Burning Wings, Gavin Almanza, GP Cox, AC Rhodes, SB Whiffler and Mr. and Dr. Hepburn Brown. The Almanzas and Hepburn Browns for the second time today. Well done. Well done, David Allen. Good win this. As I said, I don't know too much about Alado. I'm going to go and investigate and go and find out a bit more about this stallion. Moving on, race seven to come, seven and eight still to come. We'll talk to you just now.